All right, exciting times in North African football. Uh, we got scores. Uh, let's talk about the friendlies. Uh, let's talk about brand new players. Uh, what has happened for Morocco? What's new with Algeria? And Tunisia is going to be a subject. So stick around. Soccer Rockins out there, Salam Alaikum. Welcome to the brand new video of Yusuf's YouTube channel. If you're new to the game, new to this channel, consider subscribing because there's going to be uh, tons of information about North African football, especially about Morocco, Algeria, and Tunisia. Coming up, let's talk about the friendlies that we watched. It's uh, we're going to talk about Morocco, Algeria, and Tunisia, and we're going to start off with Algeria. And I got myself a Algeria jersey when I was in Egypt uh, at AFCON. And, well, it's not the latest one because it's only one star, but the champion is back. We watched the game against Benin. All right, uh, Algeria played against Benin on September 9th. They played in Algeria. And it was emotional because 33-year-old Rafiq Halij said goodbye after 11 years. This was farewell. And he finished his international career um, right in this game. And we have witnessed tremendous a tremendous round of applause from the stands. And Rafiq Halij is a legend. And um, I'm pretty proud of this guy because he has done so much for Algeria and the national team. And he's a humble guy and he has um, witnessed some crazy games uh, such as the game, uh, the game against Egypt. I think you all remember and I think you all know what I'm talking about. Uh, Rafiq Haliz is going to be a legend forever and legends never die. Thank you very much for all you've done for Algeria Rafiq Halij. Merci beaucoup. Let's talk about the game itself against Benin. Uh, it wasn't that great. Uh, the performance of Algeria wasn't that great. It was a tough game. Um, they won the game in the end, 1-0. Uh, uh, Islam Simani, another legend, scored a penalty in minute uh, 72. And um, fortunately they won the game. But there isn't that much to talk about. The champion is back and there are some big games ahead of us. In November, when the qualifiers for AFCON 2021 uh, are gonna kick off. So Algeria uh, is gonna be the champion for the uh, uh, at least the next two years, inshallah. Who are the players, uh, the new players to watch out? Uh, it's for example Hussein Ben Yada and Ilyas Shti and hopefully Ishaq Belfodi. We all know that name already, and uh, he hasn't been nominated for the team for the uh, for the friendlies. But I hope that he's going to be one of the core elements of the national team. Ishaq Belfodi is the man, as well as other players that I mentioned 10 seconds ago. All right, what about Morocco? Uh, we have watched two friendlies. The first one was against Burkina Faso, the second one against Niger. One draw, one win, one nil against uh, Niger. And we have seen that older and new players had to convince the brand new coach, Wahid Halil Hacic. There are no safe players, if you know what I'm talking about, except two or three exceptions, but um, we all know there are no shortcuts to rebuilding the team and everybody has to fight for his position uh, on the, in the starting 11 or my favorite top 11 you know if you watch my older videos you know what i'm talking about and um exciting times for morocco new players new coach new tactics new strategies and the same goals we want to go to afcon 2021 we want to go to the world cup in qatar and still we still got a long way to go, but we're gonna make it, inshallah. This was just a test for the new coach, just to get a uh, general overview over his roster 
and just to see which players uh, might fit together and which uh, strategies are the right ones for our team and um, we have witnessed some brand new players let's talk about the brand new players number one is Wadid El Karti from Widet Casablanca great guy then again Shebek great guy and Sufyan Amrabat as well as Walid Azaro and many others we do have some brand new talents on the pitch uh, some brand new players on the roster and I believe in this the team inshallah they're gonna uh, we're gonna reach our goals and let's see what happens all right who is missing which team is missing we talked about Morocco we talked about Algeria of course one team is missing it's Tunisia and I don't have uh, the Tunisian kit but I've got a red and white FC Cologne jersey which is almost the same let's talk about you you know what I'm talking about it's Tunisia, they, they faced uh, Ivory Coast on September 10th and lost the game 1-2. The goals were scored by Roger Asali and Seiko Fofana for the Ivory Coast and Naeem Sleety for Tunisia. The Ivorians uh, dominated Tunisia throughout the game. If you watch that game, it's pr it was pretty uh, plain to see. Tunisia didn't have a chance, but okay, it was a friendly game. We don't know. If you, we all know it's not, it wasn't the most important game. They didn't put that quality on the pitch uh, that they showed us uh, before uh, at AFCON 2019. But Tunisia got some brand new talents that I want to talk about, such as Mohamed Drega from SC Paderborn from Germany, or Salim Khalifi from Holstein Kiel from Germany, and my favorite Tunisian player, Ilya Sridi, that I've done a video. You can find the video on my channel. Uh, it is really great guy. That's why I decided to make one special video about him. If you like Elias Khedi, go watch that video. If you don't know who Elias Khedi is, go watch that video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there's gonna be plenty uh, of more players in the future, inshallah, that I want to talk about. Tunisia, Morocco, Algeria, they all got the same goals. They want to go to AFCON, they want to go to the World Cup, and they do have the quality, but they, uh, all three of them still have a long way to go till they make it to the promised land. Morocco got a brand new coach and a brand new team. Algeria is the champion, and you know all champions got the same problem. You want to live up to that, right? Everybody is expecting that you're going to do the same. Ain't going to be easy. Tunisia, brand new talents, some old uh, players on the, uh, on the team. They all they got their own style of playing football. Tunisia is always one of those suspects to make it to AFCON and to the World Cup. Stick around, subscribe to my channel, write down in the comments below which players do you want me to talk about in the future. Bislama, thank you very much for watching my videos. Shukran. Goodbye.